Israel, as, it, it, as we've seen regularly, has gone out of its way to embarrass our Secretary of State, call what his attempt I'd say he's done a good enough job of that on himself. Look at the hot mic comments. Well, well, that sent a real message. It was a window but, into the soul of this administration. Israel has a right to defend itself, but... And that's what, that's what Israel... That's and by our, the way, if we, did, if we didn't sharing. give Israel the money, they wouldn't have to listen to Kerry. Haven't they <laughs> suffered enough? <laughs> Haven't they suffered enough? Bill Maher, on his HBO show uh, last Friday night, once again on the correct side of an issue. So much more so on the correct side of an issue than Joe Scarborough could bring himself to be when it comes here to Israel and the war with uh, Hamas. And uh, Bill Maher had a panel... Uh, the panel was kind of split, as you, as you gathered, uh, but uh, he, you know, he unabashedly supports Israel and bashes Hamas, as any civilized person should. It's democracy against terror here. As long as we're on this subject, there was a ceasefire today. It lasted for 90 minutes. It's really a working lunch. <laughs> but there was an article in the New York Times yesterday I thought was very interesting. It said a lot of the frontline Arab states, Egypt, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, have effectively lined up with Israel. The and governments have. The, the governments have, have yes. Yeah. Because they're, it said their loathing and fear of political Islam is so strong. What is, I mean, this has not happened before. What does this say when the governments... I mean, obviously, they have to answer the people to some degree. They don't want riots in the streets. There are not demonstrations against Israel going on in these countries. They're going on in Europe. Why is Europe more against Israel than Arab countries? Because the Arab countries, uh, as much as they hate Israel, understand they uh, fear and hate Hamas and radical Islam more than the Jews. That's why, because Israel's not a threat to Saudi Arabia and Jordan and the United Arab Emirates. Who's the threat? Hamas and the other radical terrorist groups. That's why. That's why they're silent and have been silent and had been silent. And that's why the anti-Semites are rearing their ugly heads all over the streets of Europe. You get it? Okay. More. What it said was that in a, a city named Mon, Jordan, where there is no ISIS presence. They held a parade to congratulate ISIS for their conquests in Iraq and Syria. And it said, even though this ISIS had no presence in the area, the event demonstrated the appeal extending beyond those who would take up arms and don suicide vests. In other words, we're not terrorists ourselves, but we love your work. He was talking about a New York Times piece that he read uh, about a, he said Mon, Mon Jordan? Uh, was he talking about uh, uh, Amon Jordan? I don't know. Uh, but nonetheless, these supporters of ISIS protesting in the streets of Jordan, these are the people, the radical Islamists, uh, who wouldn't put on the vest themselves maybe and wouldn't blow anybody up, but yeah, they support it. And this is the threat to Jordan and Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates, and this is why they're supporting Israel in this, more so than the United States is in many regards. Not militarily or financially, but spiritually, let's say. More. I'm not defending Hamas. All I'm saying is that if you're going to have a situation where 1,600 people, 85% of them civilians, hundreds of children are being killed every day with American because weapons that you Because they're putting them in for, front of them. That is, <laughs> that is nonsense. That is not nonsense. Hold on. <laughs> nonsense that Hamas is using human shields. Here's Mar. It's a war. It's a war that Hamas started. And somehow when Israel reacts to this, they have to do everything in a way that doesn't kill any civilians. People die in wars. Now, I've said this before on the show. If the situation was reversed, Hamas would kill every single person in Israel. The reason why that's not happening is because they can't. Because they can't doesn't make them good. It makes them weak. That's right. And, and that is absolutely right. Mark Lamont Hill was lamenting the fact on CNN the other night that, uh, that uh, I think last night, that Israel has the Iron Dome. And basically the way I heard it was, that's not fair! <laughs> I mean, maybe we should give Hamas the planes and weapons so they can have a fair fight. Let's arm every terrorist group in the world so we can make it a fair fight. Insane! But Bill Maher, give him credit where credit is due on the Steve Malsberg Show on Newsmax Television.